women's tennis head coach Jill Holquist with GoHuskies.com for a moment. First of all, let's let's relive uh, last weekend's match over USC. Big, huge upset. Uh, first time ever in LA. I think we've ever beat them. Uh, talk about the excitement of that whole match. Oh, it was really exciting, and it came down to the last match with Venice Chan on the court, and we were down 5-2, and I think at 5-4, Venice came over, and she's like, I'm going to win this match. And I was like, okay, all right. And then, you know, we went 7-6 in the third, and we just all jumped up with joy, and we're very excited. And I think, you know, before the match, I, had, I talked to the team, and I said, this is the team. This is the team that we can beat top 10 teams. If you believe it, we can do it. And so it just worked out for us. If you had to pick a few words to describe the characteristics of your team, what, what, what would you uh, use? Hardworking, fun, um, and just a lot of teamwork. They, they all work together, and that's what I've been asking of them this year, is just let's all work together. Because sometimes, you know, you know, you might not be the most talented team, but if you work together, you get a lot done. Top to bottom, uh, you seem to have developed some talent there, maybe even a little depth. Can, uh, even, you know, Alex Malovich at the bottom won both of her matches in convincing fashion. Uh, Smith came back and had a great weekend. Talk about the improvement you saw from those two specifically from the beginning of the year to now. Yeah, when, um, when Samantha first came in, she had great results, and we had looked at her game, and we're like, well, we might have to just make her hit the ball a little harder, and we've worked on just a little more explosiveness out of her game. And... Um, Last weekend, she won 6-love, six 6-love, six and then 6-2, six 6-1, six and um, she's just worked really hard on her game. And, and having Malovich at number six, I think it was a little disheartening for her from you know where she played last year, but she's really you know, stepped up for us and been a great, great player for us. Uh, South Carolina is next on the slate for you. Another team that go, comes into the sun, I guess, unseated, if you will. Uh, talk about what kind of problems they pose and what you know about them. Well, we don't know a whole lot because they're in the SEC, but we're really excited about playing them. I, I had said before the tournament started that I'd like to play someone in the SEC or the ACC, and um, we got our wish. And, you know, we looked at their lineup, their solid lineup, um, just like we are. And I think it's going to be a match just like our, our USC match. So, we already knocked one USC team off, and now we've got University of South Carolina. That's another USC school, so we want to knock them off, too. I just heard you guys celebrating like a regional coach of the year for you. Congratulations on that. What does that mean to you? And talk about the award a little bit. Well, I was really excited. It's always nice when you're recognized by your peers. And, um, you know, it's been a, a rough four years for me. And I think just, I think the last week, everything's sort of just come together. And um, it's been a lot of emotional moments for me. And, and being named Northwest uh, Regional Coach of the Year is exciting. And Damon being the Northwest Regional Assistant Coach of the Year is, is great. And I think it just sort of, it just sort of tells us that we're doing the right thing and our program's going in the right direction. And with both of us coaching, we, we're just having a great time. You bring up a good point. Four years ago, this today didn't seem very realistic, possibly. What's gone right? What, how have you been able to make this sense so quickly, you think? I think it's just been uh, what I said to the the girls before. It's teamwork, you know, and you just got you want to work hard. And every girl, whether you're, you know, playing number one or you're a walk on on the team, you just have to work together and work hard. And we put them through a lot of grueling stuff. You know, our strength and conditioning coach Rose, they they work her. Um, she works them really, really hard, and and no one complains. And and that's what has been so wonderful about this team is because of the, all the hard work, they 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 still want more. Now, I know you got to be very excited about the now, but also looking at the future, your roster, you technically probably don't lose anybody. Can you uh, talk about your excitement for the future of this program? Yeah, we're really excited. We get a lot of letters from other um, potential candidates for our team, and I just write to them. I say, we have no seniors. And, and when Damon and I think about the team we have going into next year, we, we, we're really excited. We think, you know, the girls, we can just keep working with them as a team, and the doubles teams keep working with them, and I think we're just going to get better. How do you think the team will uh, play in Texas? Uh, different kind of weather there than what you've been getting here. And do you think uh, that might play a factor at all in any of uh, being able to maintain it? You know, I, a lot of people, because we're from Seattle, they don't think we're a hot weather team. But we've been to San Diego um, in the fall. And all the girls, it was like 80 degrees out. And other teams were wilting. And our team just kept fighting. 
we went to Hawaii and it was hot and windy and I hear College Station is windy so we won a lot of matches in Hawaii in the wind and um, they're a good wind team too so the one thing that I've always when I come back from trips I always thank Rose because we're one of the fittest teams in the country and the hot weather doesn't you know it doesn't bother me it's not one of the things I think oh we've got to get our girls prepared because they're prepared all right, congratulations on a great win. Go get them down in Texas, and uh, hopefully we'll be talking again about this. Thank you. Go Huskies. GoHuskies.com with uh, Alex Malovich. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a very big win against USC. That weekend you were perfect 2-0 and in singles. Can you talk about your season a little bit and, and how it's went for you? You you know, you, you might have been a little disappointed about starting out as the number six, but you seem to have really grown into the role and, and, it, and it really developed into uh, keeping your game going. Uh, yeah, it started out a little disappointed, and I wasn't playing that great, so that wasn't that good either. But, um, I mean, if, you, if you're if you winning, then it's always good. So um, I got more confident. I started playing better. Um, there was a little dip halfway through the season again because I felt I was playing better, but um, it was still like a little lower. But, you know, the wins always help, and especially like if your team wins that. Um, I mean, this paid off, like, Sweet 16, now I'm, like, completely fine. <laughs> How confident is this team as a, as a group right now? Are very confident, especially because um, we just beat USC, a uh, Pac-10 champion in the strongest conference. So um, I think the fact that we beat USC means a whole lot. It's better than beating anyone else. So very confident, I would say. When you first got here, uh, it wasn't as, uh, let's say, glorious as it is right now. Can you talk about the change this team has made and what do you think is some of the big attributes to that? Um, I think uh, one of their few big changes, uh, Damon obviously um, did a lot for the team. I feel like Damon and Jill uh, connect really well together. They balance each other out very well. Um, the new players, obviously, this is like Jill's team for the first time. So uh, I think there's a lot of depth. What helped, Venice is a big factor. Um, last week, obviously, you saw it again. She uh, pulled it out for us. So I think it's just the depth and the coaches together. Now, what do you know about South South Carolina and what you guys need to do to beat them? Actually, nothing. I don't know. I know they beat Tennessee, um, which was hosting. So uh, they upset at somebody top 10, maybe two. Um, they're probably pretty confident, too. But uh, I, we're confident, too. So yeah, we're excited. All right, Alex, I'm going to let you go celebrate with your team as you guys head to Texas. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. <laughs>